Hey guys, um, I just got my order from Cube Depot. I ordered um, a mini YJ and a, a mini YJ 5x5 and mini Maru 3x3. So, yeah, let's get this thing open. Okay. Oh, that's mini. And my hand is small, so... You can see that's really mini. Uh, wow, this is very interesting. <laughs> that is so weird. Let's get this thing open. I, want, I didn't want to cut the paper, but it will. Oops, okay. Wow, this thing actually turned very nice. It can cut corners. Wow, that is so weird. So here's um, an edge piece. It looks like a standard edge piece. And looks like a standard corner piece. So it looks like it just takes the mechanism from the, the Rubik's um, cube and then the standard Rubik's cube and then just um, puts it smaller. Okay, here's my YJ. 5x5. Five five, 6 centimeters. Oh, okay. I want to rip the box. Stupid tabs get in the way. Come on. I'll say just right. Oh, yeah. Okay, looks like it comes with tiles on it. Feels like tiles. Yong Jun 5x5. Oh yeah, this turns nice. This turns very smooth. I would have expected it to turn a bit worse. A bit, like, suckier, but... Nope. I was, I underestimated YJ. This is one very nice cube. I think this may be better than my uh, V-Cube 5x5. Let's see. It, it actually cuts corners, too. That's it's so weird. My the 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 V cube doesn't cut corners, and that costs thirty bucks. This one only costs ten. <laughs> this may be smaller than um, a Y a uh, V cube, but I think that's good for people who have small hands like me. You see, like with this cube, this is so this is this is unbelievably small. Here, let me get the dimensions on this. Man, that that cube. This cube, it's just unbelievably small. Okay, in centimeters, it is it three centimeters. Inches, it is about it's about an inch, an inch and a quarter. So that gives you the idea of how small this thing is. Okay, I'll just give you a quick solve. Okay, um, man. It feels like it's lubricated too. It turns so easily. I have this other small one I got from like um, Party Fair, like this little cheap thing. It's about the same size as this, yet it turn it like pops like so much. Yeah, this, this feels so cool. Okay, I'm not sure about my timer downstairs. This turns great. Does what I want to do when I want it. This little F2 all trick. I use F2. I got. I still have. I have yet to learn OLL and PLL. I'm not really good at that. That's why I get like 30, 30 second solves. I'm like sub 50. I'm in the middle of learning some PLL logs right now. Well, not right. Uh, you know what I mean. See, I still use beginner's method. Sort of. And there you go. There's a solve for that. I don't think I'll be solving this right now. Um, I'll probably do a separate review for this. But yeah, it cuts about two cubies with the corner 
I want to see what the inner mechanism looks like. Yep, just like um, just like a V cube. That's nice. And yes, I think I will very much enjoy these two cubes. Wow, I really expected this five x five to turn a bit worse, but it turns awesome. I'll be getting my times down with this one. Okay, cuts about maybe two and a half. No, uh, just no. Yeah, about um one and a half corner cutting. Just a bit past that. You see when it lines up like that. Yeah, see it gets stuck so right there. Yep. It's got some good corner cutting. We're so looking forward to solve this. There's a YJ logo. logo. I have a really good camera. And the Maru logo. Ah. Okay. That top, this top thinks is Maru. And something in, I don't know, some weird language. And for, the, for those of you who like looking at the box, oh, look. Manual on how to solve the 5x5. Five five. Maybe. No. Nah. Oh, it just shows you all the pieces. Yeah, it looks just like a 5 by Um, <laughs> nice. That is nice. This must be like the, one of the best, um, this must be one of the best, like, VQ5 knockoffs you can get. So, yeah, all this, um, foreign language and stuff like that. Okay. And for all of you people who like looking at boxes, here's what the box looks like for the YJ. And for the Maru. Okay. Thanks for watching.